Welcome to another episode of Modern Rock. Thank you for joining me. So today I thought I'd go through Rassi's squad uh, for the World Cup. Obviously we discussed the permutations, the wild card players previously. But yeah, before we get into it, please subscribe, please share, please comment down below. And yeah, let's get into it. So obviously, um, the big question, obviously, the, uh, the big, big question from last week was uh, Kocha Alst, uh, Alstad, and Kocha seems to have won the battle. It makes sense. Kocha, I did think in my previous video, had a um, more of a hole to fill. He really covered something that uh, nobody else is really covering, and his, his uh, cross defense, his ability to attack an X Factor play on op in open play is really something we cannot laugh at. He also, just like Peter Stettatoy, has a great tackling stat that really just uh, cements himself in that position. So in the end, I think it was the right decision, but it is great to see, and sad to see, quality players like Alstead um, not selected for the World Cup, and it shows the depth South African rugby has really built. So yeah, other players that are very interesting, I think the centre pairing and uh, uh, fullback for me was a big question mark as I felt that there was um, room for Eerstaysen to come in with Galant maybe, and then staying moving to fullback, uh, like filling up a fullback position, but it seems that uh, coach has gone for the actual uh, uh, keeping, give, bringing Galant in and dropping Eerstaysen, which is sad, but I think Eerstaysen's biggest drawback is he seems to definitely... Um, I don't know, sometimes stifle the back line. If he doesn't play, if, he, if he's not, like, feel, he doesn't feel comfortable, he starts to just become a battering ram, and his team game becomes very one-note, whereas I feel Haaland has shown um, a lot of X-factor. This season hasn't been great for him, but hopefully the room to play and the style of play for the, the Springboks will, will lead itself well to him. I felt like John Mitchell's um, game plan last year really helped him a lot more in that position. So there are some uh, question marks on, on if he's able to really give plays full potential but overall he is a big lad he does have um great vision and he also is very consistent in defense which is always something you need Franz Stein, on the other hand it's good to see him back in the team and i think it brings a little bit of experience to a team that is actually quite compared to other world cups quite a little under experienced and i think that's kind of part of russie's plans from what i understand from his interviews and that he's really looking to instead of bring experience in bring in um more, more cons effectively, well, as like I'd like to say, uh, fifty. Uh, if rather have fifty, rather have two players with twenty-five caps than one player with fifty caps. And then there's a lot. I, I respect the decision. I respect that. Understand it. And I think it's also trying to lean into a big problem Southern Hemisphere rugby have, has right now, which is obviously a lot of players leaving early and earlier into their career, and uh, really affecting the availability of being able to build pairings, build a squad, and actually build uh, build a culture in your team. So it's all about making sure that you have more players in a, a very a decent cap rate, but not um, guys who are heavily experienced. So yeah, if you compare it to the 2011 World Cup, I think 18 of the 31 played in the previous World Cup, whereas I think only now, well, it's comparatively, only five of the players have over 50 caps on this World Cup team. So it's a definitely a whole other face, although there are some good stalwarts coming with, obviously, Beast joining us and Franz Stein are, did play in the, uh, the that World Cup. So definitely bringing in that winning uh, knowledge and uh, calming a team down and also giving us a little bit of uh, focus. Uh, Stephen Corsi, one well done, played himself into the game, and I think it showed in that really, really had some great X factor and ability to get over the line. It didn't need space to get the try. He really uh, got over the try line with some really great steps and some really uh, exciting moves that I'm excited to see. Uh, yeah, so I think that's pretty much the main focus team. Most other players, I'm quite happy with that. Those are the wild cards. So yeah, I think the video. I will place the team up now. You can see it and enjoy. Please comment, share, and subscribe. And yeah, let's uh, let's continue following this great World Cup. I will be bringing out videos for all uh, for all other big teams also. Thank